Hi, everyone. Friday afternoon. This is good fun. We're nearly at the weekend and I get to do the best bit of the job here, which is to meet and introduce you to one of our new members. So I'm the founder of the Arts and Culture Network, for those of you who haven't we haven't met yet. Um, we're currently over 120,000 strong now all over the world across eight different arts and culture related websites. So wherever this item appears, you'll find lots of links. Now, I'm joined by John Verven. John Ver, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. We've met before, we laughed, anecdotes, all, the, all of the above. I just wanted to introduce you and to thank you for being one of our full members uh, and give you a chance just to say hello to the gang. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is uh, Jean Vavin, you know, a uh, native New Yorker from uh, Brooklyn, New York. And I'm happy to be on here on the uh, Arts and Culture Network with Mark. Mark and I uh, had uh, um, many uh, engagements uh, throughout the year and uh, really happy to be a part of this wonderful organization. And now, the last time we saw each other, you were in, the tables were turned and you were interviewing me, which was great. Yes, that was. <laughs> Tell us more about the the uh, the podcast and the and the work that you're doing there. Okay, well, the podcast is called "Live Life, Be Happy" twenty four seven. You know, basically, it's a platform where um, creatives and I will say anybody who is uh, open to sharing their shine and just to talk about just ordinary conversations that we don't get to really talk about uh, together. And this is a place, a platform where I can say we do it unplugged. So we don't edit, um, we're really not interested in anything that's but you. And, and like I said, sharing that story that can, can kind of resonate around the world. So other folks who are listening can also use that as a point of reference in their journey as well. So that's what we're all about. Um, we've been doing this now for about three and a half years. I'm very excited that, you know, we've reached out so many uh, hearts and souls. And like I said, um, I'm, I'm having fun. You know, I'm having fun. Oh, that's great. And thank you for, for interviewing me. I've had seen some wonderful feedback on it. It's uh, I really appreciate it. Well, it's a you. great series. Um, the questions you ask are fantastic. So, um, so I'm somewhat nervous about interviewing the interviewer, but, um, <laughs> um, it's good. so, but we'll have some fun. So okay. wherever this appears, and where can we find the podcast, John Vo? We can, you can find the podcast on Spotify. You can also find it on Amazon. We're also on iHeart. So we're all over. So if you put live life, be with a capital B happy 24 slash seven, you'll find us just Google. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Just Google. Excellent. Now to um to pull out some anecdotes and some surprises and some preferences and some laughs. Mm -hmm. Um this is a somewhat untraditional interview style of mine. Um <laughs> I'm going to and I I know you haven't had much warning about this. So this is very brave and very kind of you to do this, but I found that it's a lovely way of 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 people understanding what makes you tick. So what I plan to do is to create your fantasy cultural year okay. from the answers to about 10 questions. Sure. Um, and it, some people at the end of it have said, Mark, please start a travel agency so I can go and do that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> and it starts with the first question, which is, what is your favorite building? My favorite building is the Empire State Building. Beautiful. Lovely. Um, right. So we're starting in New York City. Yes, we are. Um, now, I'd like you to assume that you're sitting at a roadside cafe in the sunshine with the Empire State Building in clear view so that you can enjoy um, your appreciation of that architecture and the building and the its emblematic status for the city. Mm -hmm. um, and you're there in the sunshine. It's 6 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, and you, to your right is a book. OK, it's a book that perhaps has been with you all your life, one that you've discovered recently or one that you keep rereading. What might that book be? The Alchemist. And now I can't remember the, <laughs> uh, the, the name of the author. I think it's Paul Neruda or Neruda, correct. But if you if you again Google Alchemist, you'll find it's a it's a it's a book that once you open it, you just can't just pry away from it because it's just you lock into it. Mm -hmm. That sounds great. And I'm very fortunate because I do quite a lot of the, quite a few of these in, interviews. I get a, a notebook full of wonderful things to go and discover that I haven't seen before. So thank you. That's great. Right. So here you are in the sunshine. 
admiring the Empire State Building, copy of The Alchemist on your right. There's a beverage of your choice on the left. Mm -hmm. um, the sun is well over the yard arm, should you wish to imbibe. Mm -hmm. um, and you can have any drink you like. What would you like to have sitting next to you on the left there? I think I'll have like a cool green tea. With a cool green tea. Okay. Yes. Nice. Very healthy. I'm mm -hmm. I, I'm embarrassed because by by in the next couple of hours I'll have had a rum and coke. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it being close to, to beer o'clock on a Friday. Okay. Um excellent. So there you are. Now you're you're feeling quite pleased with yourself because you've just come from a meeting in the Empire State Building mm -hmm. in which you met uh, the representatives of a very wealthy New York family. Mm -hmm. who are patrons of the arts and they like to support the research process and have the US and New York in particular learn from the arts and culture landscape in another country. Okay, mm -hmm. so they've asked you if you'd like to spend a year in the country of your choice, the city of your choice, researching the local landscape of arts and culture and enjoying a fantasy year of cultural um experiences so it's going to be first class all the way um it's well paid and expenses covered um anything that needs to be sorted out at home while you while you're away will be okay um if you want to bring close family members with you on the trip you can um or you can go on your own and just explore this city so the question is where would you like to go? What country and perhaps what city would you want to go to? That'd be Valencia, Spain. Right. Okay. Excellent. May I ask why? Valencia is known for, uh, if I'm correct, the arts and sciences. And that's a place that for me, um, I've always desired to go to. And I've seen uh, just footage and videos about Valencia. And so that's something that really has piqued my interest from from a being as a creative, as, as a person of culture. Yeah, I'm really interested in, in checking that place out. Have you been before? No, I have folks in my family that have been and they've kind of showed me, you know, videos. And I'm like, I want to go there. <laughs> right. OK, you're on the plane. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, a first class. You're right up. You turn left as you get on the plane. Right. Um, and if necessary, you can go upstairs. But you're in the. The first class cabin of the of the aeroplane on your way to Valencia mm -hmm. and the steward hands you a note and it's a note from the family foundation. Mm -hmm. And while you research the arts and culture landscape in Valencia and the surrounding areas, they'd like to do a little bit of a of research on you. They'd like to understand what impact it would have on you to limit your musical in, intake to one very specific type of music for a whole 12 months. Mm -hmm. What would you choose to listen to for 12 months to the exclusion of all else? For 12 months, I'd listen to classical music. Right. That's quite a broad brush, isn't it? Yes. You've got everything from Gregorian chant to Hans Zimmer's soundtracks. Mm -hmm. you, yeah, that would be good. Um, and in that classical music genre, is there any, are there any composers that you would focus on and have on your playlist on my playlist was definitely be Bach I could share with you Mozart I definitely have uh Chopin and Ravel which nice. is more contemporary I have a little anecdote about Ravel um mm -hmm. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it but I have the ability to do a metronome beat on my hand wow <laughs> all and right we were put, when I was at music college, we were playing Lure Espanol, which is a piece by Ravel. And in it, it, the instructions on the score are to set eight metronomes at different speeds. Mm -hmm. um, and they didn't have one that went at the fastest speed. So right. I had to sit there in the recording studio and do this. <laughs> <laughs> um, excellent. There we go. So you arrive in Valencia. And the Family Foundation have arranged for some lovely young people um, to help you get settled in the city. Um, they're standing at the airport with your name on a board um, and they they take you in a, a taxi into the center of Valencia, the old town, if there is one, and they show you into the apartment that's yours for the year. And it's beautiful. 
<laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Musical instruments and art all over the place. Um, mm -hmm. And the most stunning view of something really attractive in Valencia. I don't know the city as well either. So <laughs> um, I'm sure there'll be a great view. And the, the best view in Valencia is, is that. Um, and they say to you, let's get you settled, but we want to take you out this evening to a dance performance of some description. Mm -hmm. And um, tempting as it might be to go flamenco, mm -hmm. um, you can choose any dance form you like. You can choose any dancer, because this is a fantasy year, any dancer, mm -hmm. living or dead, any dance group or any dance style. So what would you be tempted to go and see? I think dance style would be the tango. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. The most, the, the sexiest thing you can do standing up. Okay. <laughs> um wonderful so we've got the uh the tango champion world champions for you mm -hmm. on the stage with their dance company mm -hmm. excellent so that's been good fun now they want to take you out to dinner after the show mm -hmm. valencia um has every kind of international cuisine you'd like in their restaurants um mm -hmm. Michelin starred restaurants all over and they've said to you please let us know which you'd prefer so what which global f cuisine would you be drawn to global cuisine I'd be drawn to was more Spaniard you know um I love the way the Spanish cuisine um it's a little bit different you know um in terms of you know when you look at maybe the Latin Americas or South America it's it's different you know and uh, my favorite uh, actually, steak is called churrasco, which is like a really, uh, I mean, if you ever had a churrasco, it's just like out of this world. So, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds great. Excellent. So you've had a wonderful dance performance of, of tango and you've, and you've had dinner. Now, the next day um, is sport day. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we include sport in our, la in our landscape mm -hmm. of the arts and culture. And they've asked you if you'd like to participate or spectate in a sport for a couple of hours. It can be any sport you wish. Mm -hmm. So what would you choose to see? Well, to my uh, international family, is the it's football, which is not like American football, but we call here in the States soccer. Yes. <laughs> OK, that would be you're in the right place, aren't you, in Valencia? Because yes, I am. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> OK. And we'll throw in Messi. Messi's doing an appearance there. Okay, good. Yeah, you can have David Beckham at his height. Okay. You can have Pelé as well. Oh, right. It would be fantastic. I, I met can... Pelé as a youngster. I can tell you that. Did you? Yes, I did. Ah, fantastic. Yeah. That, and I always, I'm always surprised when to learn Bra Brazilians don't speak Spanish, do they? They speak Portuguese. They speak Portuguese, yeah. But yeah. at the time, he was playing for the New York Cosmos. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I was one of those little kids that would catch the ball on the sideline and throw it back to the player. So, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Wonderful. I remember that watching him in the 70s and, you know, mm -hmm. the late 60s. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Excellent. OK, so you've enjoyed your game of football, also mm -hmm. known as soccer. Um, now, the next day is Visual Art Day mm -hmm. and uh, there is a new, rather impressive gallery in Valencia which uses digital technology to bring an immersive experience of any visual artist mm -hmm. um, it's projected it's in screens that you can even put a headset on and walk around the painting as if you were in the painting one that'll happen one day mm -hmm. um, and you can choose any visual artist you like but only the one so and the work is laid out in chronological order so that you can walk through the the life's work of a visual artist who would you choose John Ver? you know because I'm not versed at any visual artist I'm, I'm more of like if I just go in in there you know into the venue and just allow myself to connect with it I'd probably just anybody that kind of piques my interest because it, 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 was, it, it would be a new a new venture for me so like i said you know i, I just kind of as i say just just go with the flow no, that's fine so you you'd allow perhaps your colleagues to suggest somebody yes. that you might mm -hmm. not enjoy yes. excellent excellent now to lighten the mood a bit the next day um they're going to take you back to the theater for any play or musical you like um or an opera if you mm -hmm. wish 
Um, it can have the original cast. It can have people who are no longer with us on the stage at any play, musical or opera. What would you like to, what would you like me, which button would I press to make it happen for you on stage? Phantom of the Opera. Lovely. Yeah. Is there anyone particular you'd like in the lead roles? No one in particular, but the music is just amazing. This, I just, I, I'm, I'm, what captured me when I first saw it was just was the music. Yeah, yeah. There is, um, uh, there is a singer. I think she's Scandinavian. Um, she's actually a, a a sort of heavy rock lead singer, but she does the most incredible performance of of the of the Phantom main song. Yeah, I, I'll I'll try and remember her name while we're chatting. Okay. Um, <laughs> And excellent. So that's great. So you've done Phantom. Next day is Cinema Day. Uh -huh. And um, they have a lovely cinema there with big seats, not close together, tables, drink on tap, anything you'd like to eat. And your co your colleagues have said, why don't you choose a movie that you love that we may not have seen that you think we'll enjoy? So uh -huh. is there a movie that's that's been with you all your life? There's a movie that's been with me all my life, and to this very day, I'm I'm so drawn to it. Uh, it's Gladiator with Russell Crowe. Anytime Gladiator comes on, I will watch Russell Crowe <laughs> in that in, in that movie. It, great, it was epic. You know, it's it's one of the. Um, I'm a huge Hans Zimmer fan who wrote the soundtrack, right. um, and it's one of those movies that you you look forward to the music as much as anything else. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some incredible music was written for that and Interstellar is I, I, I watch Interstellar for the music really mm -hmm. which is great yeah. excellent okay wonderful that's great you've had your film day now the next day is is fun mm -hmm. uh, we're calling it hero day and because I can do anything I like with your cultural year I'm going to book a restaurant in Valencia a three-star restaurant in Valencia Spanish food mm -hmm. um and you can have two hours, a nice leisurely lunch with anyone you want. Anyone want? Okay. Anyone you want, with us or not. Okay. I would say it would be Keanu Reeves. Ooh, that's a nice one. He still rides the underground, doesn't he? Or the metro in, in yes, New York. Yes, he does. And he, he does all sorts of secret philanthropy, doesn't he? Um, yes, he does. He's yeah. an absolute a beacon of how to use fame mm -hmm. yeah love that Keanu he'll probably try and get you to do the the move from <laughs> the matrix won't he that's right <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how much limbo dancing he did before they tried to capture that so, no. <laughs> um, great absolutely yeah. great love that now the next day and I know you're a busy man and very successful and so there are some days come round, they don't come round very often, where from the moment you wake up in the morning to the moment you put your head back on that pillow, the entire day is yours, okay? Um, all your personal admin is up to date, I wish, okay? Mm -hmm. um, all your chores have been done, no meetings, um, no commitments from colleagues, friends or family. You don't have to be on your own if you don't wish, but you're in Valencia, you're, you, you've had a wonderful breakfast, there's a helicopter at your disposal or a limo or whatever it is, a guide. How would you want to spend your day in Valencia if you could do whatever you liked? Well, if I could do whatever I like, I'd, I'm huge on, you know, tours and learning the landscape of, of the area that I'm at. Um, a culture for me, it's huge. I like, I love history. So wherever I could go, you know, um, on foot, by car, helicopter, I want to see it all. I okay. Mm -hmm. So I've I've arranged for you to have the the history professor from the the biggest university in Valencia mm -hmm. come and meet you after breakfast, um, and he's going to give you a tour uh, for as long or as short as you wish of the of the primary historic destinations in and around Valencia. Mm -hmm. He'll explain to you why they're important. How does that sound? Yes, that sounds Excellent. good. Good. <laughs> now. That's the end of your year, I'm afraid. You've you've, okay. you've done. You're going back to um to, to you're going back home. Mm -hmm. Um, the family foundation will meet you back at the Empire State Building. You'll give a thirty minute chat about what you learnt. Um, no 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 slides required, right? Um, and that's going to be fine. So you're back on the paint. Now 
Um, some of us don't watch much television these days. We 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 watch YouTube videos and um, and use Netflix, but um, and I should say that other platforms are available. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> but on the way home, you've been given this jukebox, the the unlimited jukebox, mm -hmm. Spotify, basically, mm -hmm. and we're lifting the ban on other th music other than classical music. So, mm -hmm. what would be the first track you'd want to listen to, not having it heard? not having heard it for a year um there's a song by um queen called want to live forever right that's uh, yeah that was poignant wasn't it because he, yeah. he died shortly after recording that right and they used it for a show called um it was a real popular show called highlander which was with uh, adrian paul and they used to always use that and that would be a song want to live forever i like to hear i uh, love that yeah that's that's a great song i think i remember watching the video of that and he was looking really gaunt mm -hmm. um and it was you know retrospectively it was clear that he really wasn't well but right a great song great song excellent um and so so there we go you're back home um you've had this wonderful year um i've been making notes of things that i can go and check out but how was that how was your year john Ver? my year was amazing and like i said <laughs> i'm going back again <laughs> yeah go, we can go back again now I, right. I think we've got time to do a few uh, uh, a few this or that's yeah. uh, mm -hmm. which will be good fun some of these are experimental so bear with us okay sure um, i'm going to give you two things you have to choose one mm -hmm. okay the first one is taylor swift singing opera or pavarotti singing pop I'm going to go with Pavarotti singing pop. Right. Push, push the envelope. <laughs> um, accordion or bagpipes? You know what? I like to challenge myself. I'm going with the bagpipes. Nice. <laughs> um, a hip hop opera or a reggae symphony? I would say reggae symphony. Nice. Let's. <laughs> um, fiction to escape reality or non-fiction to try and understand it? Non-fiction to try to understand it. Nice. Uh, Picasso or Dali? Picasso. Historical drama or science fiction? Historical drama. Uh, action movie or romantic comedy? Action movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, beach vacation or mountain retreat? Beach vacation. Excellent. Comedy club or poetry slam? Well, you know what? Let's let's try something different with the uh, poetry slam. Okay, nice. Um, okay, it gets a bit easier now for mm -hmm. a while. Tea or coffee? Tea. Radio or television? Radio. Car or motorcycle? Car. Sports stadium or concert hall? Concert hall. Cat or dog? Dog. Test the water or dive in at the deep end? Dive in at the deep end. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> orange juice, bits or no bits? Uh, orange juice. Yeah, but, but pulp or no pulp? No pulp. Right. Um, an hour in a library or an hour in a museum? An hour in a museum. Beethoven or Mozart? Mm. <laughs> depends on the mood you know what i want to keep the vibes high let's go with mozart <laughs> right nice shower or bath uh shower uh cooking or being cooked for uh cooking um shopping online or shopping in store shopping in store indoors or outdoors outdoors Android or iPhone? Android. Start immediately or wait until the last minute? Start immediately. Oh, <laughs> you're so not me. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> New York or Los Angeles? Uh, repeat that again, please. New York or Los Angeles? New York. Um, early morning or late at night? Early morning. Uh, red or white wine? Red wine. 
Batman or Superman? Mm. Superman. Numbers or words? Words. Rare or well done? Well done. Mild or spicy? Mild. And finally, see the future or change the past? Change the past. Thank you so much, John. That was good fun. That was good fun. (laughs) (laughs) So wherever this appears, uh, there'll be a profile about you that my colleague Isabel will write. Um, That'll hit our YouTube. This will hit our YouTube channel. It'll be on the profile about you on the website. And then that's going to be plastered all over our LinkedIn groups where we've just tipped over 3 million views per month. Wow. Congratulations, my friend. Bravo. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much, John. This has been great fun. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for having me on. Pleasure. All right. Take care now.